George explores the grain chain with support from farmers and millers across the UK. So today's the big day. Are you ready to hand in your project, George? Yep, my grain chain project is done and ready to go. Have a look. Catch. Wow, you've packed a lot in. And is this butter on the cover? Oops, <laughs> probably from all the baking. I found out so much and I can't believe how much effort goes into one loaf of bread. From ploughing the fields, to sowing the seeds, and then waiting for months for it to grow, whilst trying to stop the bugs eating it. And then you can finally harvest the crop with combined harvesters. But that's nowhere near the end of the process, is it? No way. That's not even the beginning. If you think that there are different grains to start with, oats, barley and wheat, of course. Wheat's the main one. I have to say, I have really enjoyed all the different breads you've been baking. Bar of breath, soda bread, barrel bread, stotty and that fantastic plat. They were pretty good if I do say so myself. I love visiting the bakers and seeing all the ingredients they mix together. Who knew vinegar would be used in bread? Yes, it's a great way of helping the bread last longer. And don't forget about the other ingredients. Can you remember them? Of course! Yeast to help the bread rise, vegetable fat to make the bread lighter, and flour too, obviously. And I had no idea it was so easy to make bread myself before I gave it a try. Well, people have been making it for thousands of years. It probably wouldn't have become so popular if it was tricky to make. That's something else that's been so interesting. Finding out how other countries came up with their own types, like chapatis and chapata. And as you found, even different parts of this country have their own special types of favourite bread. Well, it looks ready to go. Do you get it? That's terrible. I hope my project is better than that joke. See you later, Mum. Good luck. Thanks for joining me on the grain chain. Now it's your turn to make your own bread. Go out to your local bakers and discover something new. Or visit the Fun Kids website for some delicious recipes and tips. George explores the grain chain with support from farmers and millers across the UK.